Hi all. Today's recipe is how to make one pot sambar. For that, I have taken Ammi Samel's sand ground tur dal. Now, the speciality of this dal is the husk in the tur dal is removed in a traditional way which helps in retaining all the benefits. We'll have to wash it at least 3 times before we cook it. I have washed the dal thoroughly. I have added the dal in the cooker. Now I'm adding water. I'm adding 1 teaspoon of Ammi Samel's groundnut oil. 1 teaspoon of Ammi Samel's turmeric powder and finally some hing now i'm going to pressure cook it to 4 to 5 whistles now once that is done i'm taking another pan i'm adding ammi samel's groundnut oil about 2 teaspoon now i'm adding about 200 grams of shallots or small onions I'm going to saute it for a couple of minutes. Now I'm going to add radish, about two chopped radish and one chopped tomato. You could add vegetables of your choice. I'm going to give it all a good mix. The next important ingredient in sambar is tamarind. I am using Ammi Samel's old tamarind. This is about one year old, and this is how the juice of the tamarind looks. Now, the old tamarind gives a very good taste to the sambar. Hence, using old tamarind. Now, the next important ingredient is sambar powder. I am using Ammi Samel's green sambar powder. Now, you must be thinking, why is it called green sambar powder? because it has moringa leaves balan wine leaves fenugreek leaves and other greens that collectively provide many health benefits as it is rich in fiber protein and iron it can be consumed by all age groups you can see that the tamarind water has slowly started to boil now i'm going to add about 2 tablespoons of sambar powder i'm going to give it all a good mix add some salt to taste now finally i'm going to add the cooked tur dal and adjust the consistency by adding some water If you are cooking it in a pot like kal chatti or man chatti you can allow it to boil and cook it for 15 to 20 minutes but if you are in a hurry and want to cook it quickly you will have to follow what I'm doing now I'm going to pressure cook it for two whistles and this is how it looks after it is pressure cooked for two whistles all the vegetables are cooked well now finally I am going to give it a tempering. I have heated oil in an iron ladle. Adding about 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds. Some hing. And finally, a bunch of curry leaves. Once they all turn aromatic, I am going to turn off the flame. and i'm going to add the tempering to the sambar and mix it well the aroma of the sambar is so good my mouth is already watering now is the final part i'm going to show you all how i enjoy eating my sambar i have made some spongy soft idlis i'm going to place them on the plate now Finally and most importantly pour the piping hot sambar on the idlis 
and I'm going to savor it thoroughly. This is how I enjoy eating my sambar with. You could also eat it with some hot rice and a dash of ghee. If you want to purchase Ammi Samil's products, please visit www.ammisamil.com and you can also check out various other products like spices, oils and you can also download the mobile app on the Play Store. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, then please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.